All right, guys, they're playing Riffin top lane, but this time we are in one of the hardest matchups out there for Riffin in the durability patch, which is Gregus top lane. How should I so I'm going to teach you guys how to how to beat it, actually. What we have is Conquer Page. We also have Bone Plate and we got Unflinching. Like Bone Plate and Unflinching are both really good to have in this matchup. Um, except Bone Plate is kind of questionable, but Unflinching is going to do a great job here. I've also got a Long Sword with three potions. This is kind of one of those matchups where you don't need Dorn, uh, like a Dorn item to pop off. Uh, because Gregus is a champion that will spam E, Q, and it doesn't really do that much damage. It's more like um, he cancels your dashes and stuff like that. And he's being annoying at most. I think what this guy is going to do is maybe go for the full AP build. I don't know. It's always a question to see what Gregus is going to do because there are Gregus players who max Q. There's Gregus players who max E. There's then there's some of them who go tank mode. And then there's some of them who go like uh, full AP. It's it's always a question what kind of version of Gregus you're up against. I, like, I've even seen Gregus players who actually max W and go, like, full tank mode with Frost. So, yeah, it really depends. It's hard to say. But typically, the way how the matchup works is you try to maintain pressure in lane, and then you simply focus on um, hitting the short traits. It's pretty much the only thing you do until you get the opportunity to all in. But until then, you're, you're pretty much doing the exact same combo over and over. Place of ward down. What conflict awaits? I'm expecting Graves top, but we got a Poppy who you, who took the the River Vision. We also have a ward in the tri bush, so we can definitely see Graves coming if he comes now. So yeah, like in terms of like trading Gregos, you just have to like CC him. Oh, Gregos is uh, I mean Graves is bot lane. You just have to CC him like. In the middle of the tray, keep him stunned for as long as you can and then just back out. That's like the best way how you can approach him. So sometimes you just have to like spam your Q to get the third Q out. And it will be a better trade for you. Ooh, they also have max range E. Wow. I'm actually kind of impressed that it actually land. But yeah, you notice like Gregus is absolutely unkillable. This this guy will spam W for the rest of the lane and keep healing up. We're getting ganked. Like Poppy and Graves are both top side. Ooh, nice try. How should I proceed? But yeah, absolutely a, uh, a, a matchup that I just don't like. Gregus top is one of the least enjoyable top laners to play against because, you know, the fact that he can cancel your... Um, he can basically cancel your, your uh, third Q anytime he wants. Um, or your other Qs. And he can heal up all the time. He can kick you away if he likes, similar to Poppy. So, like, the experience of playing against him is just not fun. Um, especially like the better the Gregus is, the the the, the worst, the, the the worst experience is basically. <laughs> so yeah. Also, I haven't talked about like how we can hit his W um, when you try and trade him. Trade him twice so far. Yeah. That's Gregus. Like, that's the problem about Gregus, guys. That's exactly what I've been talking about. Hmm. 
I got him. Yeah, so the, the trick to killing Gregus is to be unpredictable when you all in. Like, for instance, I don't know if you guys have noticed when I all in Gregus right here, but um, basically what I did was I charged my Qs, my, my first and my second Q. I charged them in the, inside the brush. And what it does is it, it doesn't show Gregus what I'm doing. So when I charge those Qs, he's not going to expect my third Q to roll out as soon as I all in. So he basically walked up to me, did not see my third Q coming. I combined my, my ultimate with my dash and he's basically dead. Like that's how I've done it. So sometimes if you're if you're looking for a catch in some way or another, sometimes instead of like queuing in his face, just walk inside one of these brushes because by doing so, he can't actually see your queue. So he has no, no clue what you're doing. So if you go like, you walk in and you walk out, he's not going to notice it. It's like one of the small, tiny little secrets, you know, that most people don't really think about. That's why these brushes are so important for Riffin because there's so much you can do with them. Like, the only way for Gregus to find out is to actually place a ward in there. And otherwise, he will never know what, what stage I'm in with my Q. So it's like an extremely hidden little tactic, you know. Good tactic. Um, let's shove the next wave. Because I think he's resetting. Yep, he's back. Stick forcing it. Yeah, that's Gregus in 2K22. <laughs> this is Gregus. This is just the, the champion. He's just annoying to gank as well. Even for the jungle, it's annoying. Uh, we're getting a Sinjo top lane, so maybe we still get him. Except the bait. Clean. That was nice. Uh, Fagar is coming top lane, so I'm forced to go back right now. Oh, he's going bot lane. Okay. Uh, we're getting kind of close to Gorchinka now. That's awesome. Making progress. A uh, quick question. How does Riven feel after the the, the dura, uh, durability patch? Well, um, for me personally, not that much different from what I'm normally being used to. Um, surprisingly though, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Riven's win rate went down. Um... 2%. Kind of weird because she's, she hasn't changed. She's pretty much the same. Like, across the game, it's exactly the same. So, what I'm suspecting, the reason why Riffin's win rate is so unbelievably low right now. Well, not low, it's it's not low at all, but it's, it's like 2% down, which is kind of weird. But what I'm suspecting... Is that people, based off what I've seen in my community as well, is that people are panicking with Riffin at the moment. They're like trying new builds. They're like going Eclipse, Brawler's Claw, Black Lever. People are experimenting with the builds at the moment because everything has changed. And while I think that's not a bad idea, I do think like Eclipse, Brawler's Claw, they are decent, but it's not worth trying them, you know. People should honestly just stick with Gorchinker and Define, um, not with the other items. They are they sound interesting, but they're they're not gonna beat Gorchinker and Define, you know. But yeah, that's what I'm suspecting. 
that's why the win rate is going down because people are panicking at the moment. Shredder, continuing the gift that you got. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for continuing the gift. That's awesome. I haven't seen you here, by the way. Not that much recently. Oh, it's going back, sure. Okay. I don't know why Gregus does that, but sure. Kind of weird. I hope he's actually going back. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. But yeah, you see, like, Gregus matchup is honestly pretty straightforward. Um, he just counters you really hard, and you have to play perfectly. But it's more like a farming lane. Ah, so that's where you are. Got you, buddy. A moment of clarity. I was looking for you. Now we got this plate. Uh, Great, this is back. It looks like it's gonna be a, I think like an Everfrost. I think. Or Ludens. Nice. Let's go back. So yeah, now we go for the next item. Uh, we're definitely building Black Beaver since the new, like with the new durability update. I highly, highly encourage you guys build a Black Beaver. Like that's the best item you can do right now. Um, if they become too tanky. You're working like twelve hours a day, Shredder. Sleeping like twelve hours. Hmm. I see. Working 12 hours. You better take care, man, of yourself. 12 hours. That's a lot of time. It's not, it's not healthy. <laughs> Thank you, Sweater, for the 3 euros, man. Did you miss the challenges? I mean, kind of. Kind of. Thank you, Shredder. My spirit is not lost. This Gregus doesn't walk out of lane, does he? No ah, yeah, great Gregus matchup is is a really interesting topic. Like, I, I've made countless of videos against them. But it's always a unique experience. All the time. I don't know. Oh, that was a delayed W. I've got my R back in, like... Maybe, wait. Yeah, it's probably going back. Yeah, lots of farming involved. Like, this, it's pretty much what the matchup is about. Got it. I think I might just start perma roaming. Finally got the tower. Don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Yeah, he gets away again. It's this is just Gregus, guys. Like this is the reason I don't like him. Gregus players are so hard to catch, like because of their ultimate, the way hard their E works and W. 
they often play with phase rush as well so it becomes even harder to, to actually catch them it's actually kind of annoying you really cannot catch a Gregos, guys. It's it's impossible. <laughs> they always get away. Is Women in a good time in this patch? Uh, I mean, sure she is. She's not bad. What conflict awaits? Uh, let's go bot lane. Not expecting this guy to be staying, but... There was a Fagar up here, but he actually left. I want to continue like splitting bot lane, but I don't want to steal the farm from Ash and Yumi. <laughs> There we go. He saw me. He knows I'm here. And I think it might just be very obvious. Yeah, this is very obvious. This is super mega obvious, but yeah. Wow, he expected that. What? Okay. I was gonna jump in, kill Grace, flash over the wall, and run. Huh. They actually knew it. That's interesting. I'm actually kind of, like, impressed. I wonder if they actually saw it or just react to it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. My team should have this one. Learn from me. <laughs> Is it hard to concentrate while playing, making a commentary and reading the chat? I mean, of course it's part of it, man. Of course I would play, I would play League better uh, if, if I wouldn't make a commentary and would not be reading the Twitch chat and stuff like that, but I don't know, I've been streaming for years, and I pretty much only play League on stream, and I mean, I made it all the way to rank 7 in Challenger, so... Yeah, it definitely makes League harder, but I've pretty much achieved the top 10 in League, so... With you guys by my side, so yeah. I got kind of used to it, but still, it's, it's definitely... Um, it definitely does make games harder, for sure. People generally don't, don't think about it, but, you know... It just adds like a little difficulty and it adds up some distraction and I mean you guys know me I explain pretty much all my moves and that adds up as well but it's working you know you get used to it over time Yeah, like, splitting goes pretty, uh, well, it goes well, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. I'll go back. Uh, Drake spawns in uh, 30 seconds. Alright. My spirit is not lost. But yeah, I don't know, man. You should have seen my past videos, my old videos. I was, I was learning. I don't. If you guys watch my videos from two years ago, you will see how bad I am at like commentating and stuff. <laughs> I improved a lot over the years. Uh, 
he's very tanky. He saw me. Yeah, that's Vagar. <laughs> Misses the cage but hits the Everfrost and you're still dead. Yeah. I'm really impressed that Vagar remains like untouched. He's still this champion that can still kill you in one one ability. Well, two abilities, Q and R. Like, Fagar's Cage and Fagar's Everfrost in combination is just absolutely disgusting. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but... There are so many champions abusing like double stuns. You know, think about TF, for example. You hit the gold card, you hit the Everfrost, and you're stunned for like five seconds or something. Same thing with, with Fager's Cage. You, you get caged by Fagar, he hits the Everfrost, and you're basically stunned for like 10 years, man. Like, no escape. He, he could literally eat a pizza and still kill you like 10 years later with, with his QR combo. <laughs> I don't know. It's still this this item is so weird to me. I don't know why it's why it actually exists. Double stun is OP, man. We got Thresh. Clean. Ah, we got him as well. Ooh, he gave it to me. That's actually awesome. I think um, to make this game easier for me, I think I might actually go for QSS so I can run out of the Fagar cage. Kind of considering it so I can make it easier. So yeah, my third item will definitely be QSS. Or well, more specifically, the item. I don't think I'm going to rush QSS immediately. My spirit is not lost. Uh, yeah, let's go back here. Or... Yeah, right, they, uh... <laughs> Blue trinket it. Let's go for... This one. Alright, here we go again. So yeah, I just need to get my hands on the, uh... On the QSS. And that's it. Ready. Nice. Oh. I'm like super leveled, but also fake at also level. I'm I'm kind of surprised that I actually do so little damage to Graves because he's actually going like uh full damage graves. He's going lethality and perma slow. It's kinda of weird. Grace is coming. Got you. No 
Everfrost. Oh man, what a stuns. <laughs> what a stuns. I was like floating to left to right, top to bottom. <laughs> what on earth? Oh man, I'll CC for 6.47 seconds. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I got QSS now. That will make a that'll make a, a, a big difference. <laughs> Now I'm actually ready. Let's let's retry. I'm afraid we might lose another dragon. I hope not, like gotta get our hands on this one. Here we go. This will be hard to do. Or maybe not. Okay. That's actually pretty good. I think we might be able to finish the game here. Maybe. Oh, they're going for a uh, dragon. Okay, sure. We've got QSS, so we outrun his, uh, his CC. Okay. That was uh, the, the cleanest QSS I could have done. Like, I, I was legit CC for zero seconds. That's just a clean movement out of the Fager CC. So yeah, now we go Death Stance and then maybe final item, maybe a Grudge or Perma Slow, because we, we're... One thing we're missing right now is um, some damage. That's my only problem right now. I'm looking for damage. So yeah, we get the death sense and if we go grudge, probably. No GA? Uh, nah, prob probably no GA, no. So yeah, back to bot lane. This one spawns. Could maybe kill Gragas. I got hit by this. Messed up my QSS totally. Ah, mm. oh, yeah, she trapped right behind it. Okay. 
Either way, guys. This is Riven Top Lane against Gregus. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.